Hi everyone, I'm Chunks of Earth. How are you today? I'm well, thank you. And we're going to talk a little bit about something happening in Florida. Come, upcoming, eh, coming up on the ballot. Having my Yumberry Wulong tea from Tivana. It's a great store. Calming. Clear. And hopefully I will be too. Let's talk about Amendment 8 shall we? In Florida, in the upcoming election, we're going to be voting on various amendments to the Constitution because you know how smaller government involves more amendments, more laws, and restricting of freedoms. That's how you get smaller government, but we'll talk about that later. Amendment 8 is called Florida's Religious Freedom. Amendment 8, also known as the Florida Religious Freedom Amendment, is on the November 6, 2012 state ballot. The, pro the proposed measure would prevent individuals from being barred from participating in public programs if they choose to use public funds at a religious provider. Essentially, the measure moves to repeal the state's ban of public dollars for religious funding, also known as the Blaine Amendment. Okay. In an economic downturn where people have lost their homes, lost their jobs, can barely afford to eat, <clears throat> have difficulty paying their rent and their taxes, our Tea Party Governor Blinky and his Attorney General Pam Bondi, who's another interesting human being think it's a good idea to take what little tax money they're getting in the state and allow religious institutions to use that and we know that religious institutions don't pay tax money they don't pay taxes I'm fascinated and this is another reason why no matter what happens, I will not be voting Republican. Twisting the logic to take tax money from taxpayers and give it to organizations that don't pay taxes. Why not? That's democracy. The measure requires 60% voter approval for adoption. The measure first appeared as Amendment 7 on December 14, 2011. Leon County Judge uh, Terry Lewis ruled that the legislatively proposed measure would no longer be on the ballot in 2012. However, a new state law which was not overturned by the lawsuit allows Florida Attorney General Pam Bondi, good Christian, just got married, to rewrite the proposal. This must have been done within 10 days according to law to which it was. On December 20th, 2011, Attorney G General Pam Bondi rewrote the wording of the ballot measure, placing the proposal back on the ballot as Amendment 8. Okay. The text of the measure, proposing the amendment to the state constitution providing that no individual or entity may be denied on the basis of religious identity or belief, governmental benefits, funding, or other support except as required by the First Amendment of the United States Constitution and deleting the prohibition against using revenues from the public treasury directly or indirectly in aid of any church, sect, or religious domination or in aid of any sectarian institution. Just letting that sink in for a moment. Amending the Constitution to allow non-taxpaying organizations to get taxpayer money because it's freedom. Freedom. We're, we're, we're discriminating against them because they're not contributing. It's not that they can't afford it. It's not charity. They're not tax exempt for no profit, non-profit organizations. They're religious specifically targeting religious institutions. Now, let me see here if I can do this. Um, I want to be able to make sure that you see the actual wording of the document. There we go. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but, but I will read it as well. There's a the religious freedom text in section three. I'm going to read it. 
and so you know it, it actually exists. And I'll include this link, which is on the ballot. I'll include this link in the description bar, the Sarahan bar, the crotch bar, the space bar, the snack bar, man. Okay. Text of Section 3. This is in the Florida Constitution. There shall be no law respecting the establishment of religion or prohibiting or penalizing the free exercise thereof. Right on. Religious freedom shall not justify practices inconsistent with public morals, peace, or safety. Right on. This part's underlined. No individual or entity may be discriminated against or barred from receiving funding on the basis of religious identity or belief. That's the change. What was strike, stricken out? Striked out? Stricken out? No revenue of the state or any political subdivision or agency thereof shall ever be taken from the public treasury directly or indirectly in aid of any church, sect, or religious domination or in aid of any sectarian institution. They're striking out the part about you can't take public money to get to religious institutions and replacing it with no individual or entity may be discriminated against or barred from receiving funding on the basis of religious identity or belief. This is strictly Tea Party agenda. I'm pissed. I'm pissed. And this is just one of the amendments that we're dealing with. There, there are, I think, six or seven in total. This is amendment number eight. Some of them have been stricken out. You know, they're different numbers. But I'm really upset. This is ridiculous. And this is why you got to vote. This is why you got to vote more than just the president. You got to vote locally. You got to vote state. You got to vote. Because somehow these clowns got in a position where eh, we'll just write out that religious stuff and, and make it constitutional. They won't know what they're doing. I mean, eh, why not? We'll see what happens. It's not necessarily good, but who knows? They might like it. That's not democracy. Um, so that's my first video of today. Again, I'll include this link. And if anybody I know who lives in Florida, please vote no on Amendment 8 if you believe in the separation of church and state. You know, it's not as if we don't have any empty homes and businesses and we don't have an 11% unemployment rate and we don't have people struggling to survive where we have all this overflowing money that we can give to the struggling churches because, you know, they're not making any money. We've got Terry Jones burning effigies of, of President Obama in uh, Gainesville. He's got a small church. He's not hurting for money. I don't know any church that's struggling for cash right now, but that's me. I don't do a lot of research. But it doesn't seem to be an issue. Anyway, I'm Chunks of Earth. And are you? Yes, you are. More videos to follow. Thank you, and please comment. I'd like to know how you feel.